These are the apparatus that you need for rinsing the burette. Firstly, rinse the burette with tap water. It is a good practice to use the funnel to prevent spillage. To remove the tap water, firstly, open the tap, allow some water to drain out of the tap, then tilt, rotate clockwise and anti-clockwise, invert and drain. Next, wash the burette with distilled water in exactly the same way as described earlier. Lastly, we shall wash the burette with the chemical that is to be used in the burette itself. In this case, it is Fa2. The process of washing the burette is exactly the same as that described earlier. Transfer the chemical into the burette using a funnel. Add excess chemical into the burette to above the 0 cm cube mark. Then, run the chemical to the 0 cm cube mark. Read the scale from the bottom of the meniscus. Ensure that there is no air bubble. Coordinate your hands in the manner whereby one hand controls the tap while the other focuses on swirling. The chemical should be delivered quickly until nearing the end point. If you know the end point, check the skills as you are carrying out the titration. The end point should be approached slowly, drop by drop. When the end point is almost reached, rinse the tip of the burette and sides of the flask with distilled water. Then continue with the titration, drop by drop. The color change has to persist. Only then, then the titration is considered to be complete. 